What's up guys, so today we're at the golf course. Now, the thing about the golf course is, I've only caught two fish out of here, in the, well, ice fishing, and they were about this big, a largemouth and a sunfish. And then when I'm with one of my buddies, he catches some giant sunfish and a bass. So I'm gonna stay here for about six hours today, and I'm gonna really fish it. And if I catch a small fish, I'm gonna use this bait, because I know there's giant catfish in here, and giant, uh, crappies and giant largemouth in here so hopefully we can get one of those but we got a problem let me guys let me just show you look at the auger <laughs> um it bent it got stuck in the hole and i just could not get it out and it, it just bent so i had a drill hole using that rock and look at the size of my hole if we already catch a large one out of there, it's not coming out. <laughs> I don't know what I did, man, but look at the auger. <laughs> um, today it's going to be like in the 40s. It's supposed to warm up like 5 degrees every hour. Like it's like 30 right now or something. So, I don't know. But wish me luck because I'm definitely going to need it. You guys like my tool? <laughs> Dude, this, is, this is what the caveman did to ice fish. Man, dude, hands are, ugh, yeah, it's freaking gross. Who knows what the heck is on that rock? I know there's a crayfish under here, hibernating though. Dude, we gotta be hitting water soon. Let's just give it a good old pow, you ready? Mm, I missed. Mm, okay, my hands are getting gross. There we go. There's a fish. That is a decent sunfish right there, guys. That is not a bad sunfish at all. I believe that is a pumpkin seed just because of the red behind the ears and the yellow body. But it could be a uh, bluegill and pumpkin seed hybrid. A pumpkin blue. Oh, that's my name for him. But this is not a bad guy. I mean, I've definitely caught way bigger here and I've definitely caught way smaller. But a fish is a fish, guys. And the good old tungsten teardrop waxworm. We're gonna. Oh, oh yo, there's another one. It's kind of oh yo that. See what I mean? That is a giant. I had no that. That's a bluegill, I think. That is an absolute beast. <laughs> that is about. That is the size of my hand. That is absolutely crazy. That's my biggest bluegill on an ice rod. I told you, I was like, see, I've caught bigger. Look, he just destroyed it, man. How am I gonna get this out? I probably can just yank it real quick or just turn it. I'm not trying to break your jaw there, bud. There we go. This guy, he almost stole my bait. This guy absolutely destroyed it. Look at this. I can, I can lip him. No, I can't. Maybe a little bit. I'm, this is a bluegill. There's no red beyond the ears. And it, it's blue pink, I guess. I want to say this is a female just because of how light the stomach is. But I don't know. But thanks, little guy. I mean, big guy. Uh, see what I'm up against now, guys? That is a good sign. That means water. There's water right there. That is a good sign. That means we almost broke through. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Yep, see, see, see? It just gets real wet. That means we're getting closer to the to slush. See, look, look what I mean. Boom, we broke through. We just broke through. That is a good sign. But also, this is thick ice. So now, probably gonna get wet from doing this. But that is okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hot today, so 
Well, it's gonna be warmer than that. I just got myself so I probably, you guys soaked too. Oh, there's a, that is a good fish, I think. That is a bass, that is a bass. That is a bass right there, guys. Come here, buddy. Boom, look at that, guys. We caught us off a bass. Yes, we did. Not the biggest one, not the smallest one, but a beautiful bass. The one that I caught the other week, one that I caught the other week, right? Maybe about from this part of his fin, it's the tip of his tail. Look how he ate it. Right at the roof of the mouth. I mean, this is what I came here for, was, was bass. Ice fish for bass. Dude, look at that blue right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. The blue right there. It's just, it's such a beautiful fish. I wonder what they see. You know, they can't blink. Their eyeballs don't feel like ours. I wonder if they can see color. Probably, I mean, look, I'm using something pink. Time to say goodbye. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's the ice moving. Like, there's still a decent amount of ice. Don't get me wrong, there's about four to five inches. But every time there's a big gust of wind, you can hear, like, the top layer of ice sh shifting. It freaks me out. Okay, maybe this isn't too safe to be doing this. Time for some breakfast, dude. Wakers, chewy dips. It's a granola bar. They're frozen, okay. It's a granola bar covered in chocolate. So good. And it's good for you too. I actually get sponsored by Quakers now. There we go. Boom. That is perfect bait right there. That is bait for big bass right there, guys. Now, this is a small pumpkin seed. This is what I was after for today. I'm going to get them hooked up on the tip up. And then... We will drop it down. I have no clue where we're gonna drop it down. All right, guys, so this is what you do, right? We got our sunfish, we got our hook. And you wanna hook them right about, let me hold them better real quick. Right about there. And you wanna make sure it goes through the other side so that he can still swim perfectly fine like that. He is a he's a feisty dude. I should probably take off the sinker. Got the sinker off, put that in my pocket. Reeling some line. Cause you gotta remember, tip up goes in about eight inches into the water. I think I have no clue what that was, but it scared me. Take out the tip up first of all. Tighten these things up. Uh, we can reel in a little bit more line, I guess. A little bit more line won't hurt if you reel it in. That's about good. You're good, buddy. Now you want to set that up like that. Now you want to set up the flag. Just like that. So when a fish comes, the, the, the thing, the reel will move and the flag will go up. And then that's how you know you got a fish. 
what you gotta do when you're bored. Ice fishing. You no, know, you just gotta slide in the ice, like. It's so fun. I love it. Oh, yo, 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 we got a flag up. Oh, 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 it's a fish, it's a fish. It's a, it's a fish, it's a fish, it's a fish. He took out a lot of line. It is just a sunfish. Dude, we had something else on there. Yeah, we definitely had something else on there because there was so much line taken out. Whatever bit that had to be a big fish because I don't know if you guys saw what I saw, but the tip it was moving. It was it was going that way. The fish was pulling the tip up. Maybe it'll come back. You know, for a golf course, there's a lot of metal pipes sticking up. And there's some over there. There's a bunch on that uh, peninsula over there. Ooh, there's just a lot of metal sticking up. We're still looking for them. Oh, yo, there we go. That's something big. No, it came off. <gasps> it came off. There we go. Here's a sunfish. That is a bluegill. A bluegill. Not a bad one. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Go, buddy, look, look at the camera. Go call the guy that bit and got off because he was big. All right, go call, go call. In the words of Leo Shang, extreme Philly fishing, you guys watch him. Go call your, grand, your grandmother. See you, little bud. There he goes. Oh, there we go. That, yo, that should be bait right there, dude. That, yo, yeah, this is gonna be bait now. This little guy. Sorry, little buddy, but I'm gonna put you on instead of the other guy because you were just so small, buddy. Buddy, look how small, like, that's a bluegill right there. Like, I mean, he's beautiful, though. I mean, look at the sun. Right at the angle of the sun. Beautiful little fish. But hopefully you catch me a giant toad, buddy. And you inhaled my bait. Oh, my God. Yeah, you ate them all. Jesus, buddy. So now that we got this little dude, we're going to go ahead and just take this one off. Come here. You're, you're gone. You're done. Let him go. He's still alive. Boom, there he goes. And we got a little, little, the little, 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 little dude. We're gonna hook him through the back right there. Just drop him down. Like that. Set this up like like this. Guys, I got some bad news for you. By looking at how like today is and the forecast for next week, there's gonna be like two days in the teens, but the rest of the week's gonna be in the 40s, and I can already tell this ice. Is it holding up anymore? I mean, the edges all cracked. We got water coming up all over there. This is probably gonna be the last ice fishing video. And I say that because we're at the end of January, almost. And we're probably not gonna get any more safe ice. 
which kind of sucks. I mean, we might, we might have some safe fights. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll try to go out at least a couple more times. I will try, but if it's not safe, I'm not gonna go out on the ice. So this will probably be our last ice fishing video, which kind of sucks, you know. I really love doing this. I mean, my first year really actually doing ice fishing, and I'm already in, in love with it. I mean. It's, it's just really cool being out on the ice and just jigging and stuff using tip-ups. I think it is super cool. Should have got into it a long time ago, but I never did. But if I can't ice fish, then I'll probably fly fish creeks in the wintertime. I'll make a little series about fly fishing creeks in the wintertime. I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, yeah, but I don't know. So let's just see if we can catch a couple more fish here. Because this might be our last day. There we go. Oh, it's a little baby bass. Look at that. Who would have thought we would have caught, catch, well, caught, catch another bass. But we did. I stuck through the boredom. And I caught this little large jump bass. He's trying to give me a high five, ready? Right? Boom. Oh, this fins are really sticky for what? That fin is super sticky. This one's sticky? No, just that fin. We stuck through the boredom. Cut ourselves large off. This guy's not even that bad. I mean, he's kind of a little fat. Boom. There we go. Oh, 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 that's something nice. It's a bass. It's a good bass. It's a good bass. It's an okay bass. It's a definitely okay bass. There we go. Another bass. That is not a bad bass. That is a chunky dude. Right at the top of the lip. You ever notice that? When you're ice fishing. You always catch bass with them right at the top. This is not a bad bass. I mean, pretty chunky. There is bigger ones in here, but you know, a fish is a fish. He's got a little leech on him right there. Get that off of you, buddy. Fish is a fish. This is definitely a beautiful, beautiful guy. Is that another little leech there, bud? Yes, it is. I believe I got that one off. I don't know. They're they're gonna stay. But beautiful little guy. Let's get him back. What's up, guys? So I am packing up. I'm calling it a day. I don't know. It's, just, it's 40 degrees up, and my hands are getting cold and stuff. Nothing's really biting anymore. So I don't know. And I'm super tired. I want to go home and just rest, take a little nap, eat some food. I am starving. But, it's probably going to be the last video, like I said before this, it's probably going to be the last one. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. Share the channel, share the videos, comment, I respond to every comment. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube name, Ty Fishing. You can ask me anything about fishing, or anything, and I'll just answer it, I honestly don't care. Um, but like I said, yeah, like, subscribe, share, comment, see you guys on the next video crazy i was just walking to leave i forgot something super important that i probably need in the future of ice fishing i can see it right now um it's my rod i forgot my rod i brought everything but the rod i don't know how i forgot my rod but i need it so that's kind of dumb of me. I was just, I was almost there. I was almost out of this place and I had to walk all the way back. Let's hurry up and grab it. And then let's go. I am ready to go eat. Uh, if I can pick it up, Jesus.